Hi folks, here we go again. Time to go out of Blue Marsh, check my area, do a little bit of cleanup, take care of the trails. Probably walk about two or three today. Just an easy day. A little bit cloudy. Had some good rain this morning. Hoping it knocked down some of the black flies and the fleas and the, uh, the gnats that had been flying around. Uh, not going to be a long one. Just going out to enjoy myself. The ranger walk for the day was canceled. So I figured I'd go out by myself for a while. Later. Okay, folks. Starting out. We're right around mile marker 8. We're going to head toward mile marker 10. Up that part of the path right there. Up in front of my vehicle. That's the Blue Marsh Lake. So we're going to be walking along Blue Marsh Lake for a couple miles and then loop back. No idea what the marking is. Looks like a umbrella over a guy walking. Unsure. Here's a good one for you. Why I'm huffing and puffing. I'm walking up a mountain. And to give you an idea, there's the valley. And way down there is Blue Marsh Lake. We're up a good 60 foot, maybe more, in elevation. Still climbing. As stated before, we're up even higher. We're a good 80 to 100 feet up now and climbing. Funny little sight along the path. They put a bridge in, but everybody walked around the bridge and horses don't like going over the bridge anyways. And I've seen plenty of horse droppings out here. So it's a pretty well used path. I've already cut back some, some trees and we got more sticking out in the path right here. All right, it's getting better. Okay. Up and down. Up and down. We were down real close to the water back that way. Stopped and talked to the lady. That was hiking. Gave her some clues about carrying a whistle. One of the things she only didn't that she didn't have with her plus a little bit of water, but there's part of the arm of Blue Marsh, and I'm going to be huffing and puffing here. i got a big hill ahead of me. Becoming a little easier than I thought. It's still uphill. I've done seven and eight. Now we're at mile nine. Mile nine is not going to need too much work. It's pretty open. It's pretty clear just hilly. Big hill done. Going down. Going to find the path to take me back to the truck. Had to turn the watch back on again. GPS in the pocket seems to be doing okay. Mileage didn't start over. So I'm not totally sure of how long this is going to be except by the watch. So we're about to find out. Come down the road to a fork. Didn't know which way to go but I found out a roadside. Shows which is which. Sleepy Hollow is up and down this hill. And Landis is where I want to go. It's a left turn. But I want to show you this first. From here up, it becomes a Tulpahocken Creek that flows into Blue Marsh, and it's all approved trout waters. I'll be coming down this way with my vehicle sometime, because Blue Marsh is out there, but it's kind of low. So we'll see what's going on. But for now, we're going to go that way. I just come off of that hill, and we're going to go this way. Okay, coming up to where I'll be needing to make a left. Head back down toward a truck. We've got a mile and a half behind us. Not much, but all steep hills. Miles number seven, eight, and nine. Trails are all clear.
parking lot on Highlands Road. They're coming up to the gate that I opened earlier. Walking back down to the truck. Are you kidding me? Somebody's got a boom box out here. Well, there's one hill up ahead of me I am not looking forward to. But we got to do it up to go back down. Coming to the crest. I believe it's all downhill to the truck now. At least I hope it is. Whew. Where are you out on that long hill? I've started taping now because I believe we're coming down to where the truck is parked and it's still all downhill. We'll be coming back down to the Blue Marsh Dam. Very interesting. I have yet to see a deer out here. I've heard they're here. People hunt them. But uh, I have yet to see one even crossing the road. I'm not making a whole lot of noise, but well, the truck should be down around that bend. I'll turn you on until we get down there. Well, what surprised me a little bit is that uh, this is longer than I thought it was. I was uh, a little over two miles back there. I told you about 2.12, and I am now at two and a quarter. So it shocked me a little bit knowing that uh, I thought I was closer. Uh, the map for Blue Marsh, they say, is not written to scale, and I'm really believing it now. It's way off. It shows you approximate where they are, but their mileage markers are wrong in that uh, they don't come out at the same place. Now, when we went for that walk with the Ranger, I see the truck way there in the background now. When we went for that walk with the Ranger, first time I walked with them, we came out of this path right here where this marker is, over that little bridge that's now covered in leaves that I think I showed that on the last one and down that big hill. We turned and went up the hill where I am now going down the hill to my truck. Talk to you down there. Okay, back down at the truck. Been walking for 54 minutes. Burned 305 calories. Two and a quarter miles, uh, a little over two and a quarter miles. 2.37. Other than that, it was a nice walk. There wasn't too much to be cleaned up. I just come down the hill and the trail over my shoulder. I'm going to try this. The trail goes up in the woods right there. There's a trail marker. And that goes down to miles seven, eight and seven. So I've already done that. And I just did nine. Nine's nice and clear. I've got to turn off my other GPS now. All right, end of another good day. I've added this a little bit later. By the time I got home, it was dark. But I want to say, stay strong, patient, and trust your journey.